Well, I have a confession to make. I was wrong. In some of my past videos, I have mentioned that the sun is an average star. The sun is an average star in an average galaxy. So who's to say? Now, unfortunately, that is just not the case. The sun is not an average star, not even close, actually. The sun is brighter and larger than the majority of stars in the entire universe. So in this video, we're gonna talk about that and learn the difference between our star and a so-called average star. By the end of the video, the difference should be clearly illuminated. Ah, the night sky. What a wonderful, amazing sight. Surely the stars we can see are average stars, right? <laughs> Wrong. Actually, all the stars we can see with the naked eye are orders of magnitude brighter than the so-called average star. So what is this average star I keep talking about? Well, you may recognize the name, a red dwarf star. Red dwarf stars are anywhere from 5 to 80% the mass of the sun. That's all the way from a little bit larger than Jupiter up to nearly the mass of our home star. Brightness is many orders of magnitude less than that of even the dimmest stars that we can see with the naked eye. Surprisingly, we have only understood what stars are for a little bit over 100 years. We didn't know what a red dwarf was for about that same amount of time but it wouldn't be possible without the work of all scientists leading up to that point. At the present time, we have characterized and created diagrams of different types of stars. And you can see on this diagram, there is a main sequence of stars. Red dwarfs are dim and small on this main sequence, but they last an incredibly long amount of time. Because these red dwarfs are so common in the universe, it shouldn't surprise you to hear that there is one nearby. Proxima Centauri is a nearby red dwarf star and has an absolute magnitude of 14, which is about a thousand times less bright than what can be seen with the naked eye. Proxima Centauri is just four light years away and we still cannot see it, even on the darkest of nights. So why are red dwarfs the average star? Why not some other type? Well, red dwarfs make up nearly 80% of all the stars that we know about in the universe. Quite simply, they are probably the easiest to form. We still don't understand everything about the star formation process, but we know that stars form in the coldest, densest dust clouds, which are somewhat hard to come by. Too hot, and the pressure between molecules exceeds the gravitational pull on them. Too sparse, and the gravitational force is not enough to capture molecules to form a star. Red dwarfs last for a long, long time, trillions of years actually, much longer than the age of the universe. An inspiring thought is that red dwarfs have planets around them. We have observed planets orbiting red dwarf stars. Probably every single red dwarf may have several planets orbiting around it. A great example of this is the TRAPPIST-1 system, seven planets orbiting a so-called average star. Most planets aren't too different than Earth as well in this system. How exciting it would be if life could develop around these stars. We still aren't sure that it is likely, but we can make a guess that it's possible. Life always finds a way. If just one planet orbiting a red dwarf star was found to have life, that would mean that life can develop around average stars and honestly bodes well for the abundance of life in the universe. Although I suggest finding life anywhere else would probably suggest the same. I talk a lot about life on other planets around other stars. Several of my previous videos were actually about this topic, and I like that. This topic is so profoundly interesting to me and motivating. I only hope that it is for you as well. So the sun isn't average, but it is ordinary. Nothing is unique about its formation or evolution. We have gained excellent insight into how the universe works through our magnificent cosmic campfire. So yes, I was wrong, and I apologize for that. But I meant well. You actually learn more by being wrong and making mistakes than you do by always being correct. So let's take this as a learning experience. The sun is ordinary. We are ordinary. So I would like to think that life in the universe is ordinary. That point of view makes the universe seem pretty bright. Be curious.